Hello, and welcome back to another Josh Connects video. In this video, I'm restoring my $100 iPhone XS Max and customizing it as well. So make sure you stay all the way until the end to see the finished product. As always, if you're curious about what I use, everything will be linked down in the description below. That includes the toolkit, the part chart, heating pad, and all the other gadgets you see me use. So make sure if you're looking to buy any of those things, go check out the links in the description. Just a friendly reminder before we get into the video, if you would do me a favor and check down below if you're subscribed to the channel, as well as ringing the notification bell. And make sure to hit that like button. But that's enough from me, so let's just jump straight into the video. Starting off as always, there's two Penelope screws on the bottom, so we're going to remove those quickly, and we're going to stay organized with my part chart, putting the two Penelope screws on the bottom. As always, I always remind everybody that when doing a repair, you have to make sure your screws are organized. Reason being, some are longer and some are shorter, and you don't want to be mixing them up. It's just going to be a hassle for you in the future. And then using my favorite creator's pry tool, we're going to start digging into this iPhone XS Max. I switched to a pick here because I really didn't want to damage the sides of the device. As you can see, when I was turning it, I could have been scratching the metal, so I switched to plastic just to make sure. As this iPhone opens up like a little booklet from the side, we want to be very careful and make sure I do not hit any of the flex cables located right here on this right side. As I open it up, I saw some adhesive on there, which is a good sign because that most likely means it wasn't opened and repaired before. Using one of my favorite tools, it helps me hold the screen open. It's basically like a helping hand. It plugs into the lightning port and I can connect it to the screen and it keeps it at a 90 degree angle so I don't damage anything. As I'm opening this phone, I thought I would go a little bit more in depth on how I got it. It was about a year ago and I purchased this device for $100. It was a lot of negotiation, but I eventually got him down to the price I wanted, which was extremely cheap. But at the time, the screens were incredibly expensive to purchase. I've kept it cracked for about a year now, like I said, just because a lot of people on my TikTok thought it was funny or they were getting mad at me because I'm a phone repair guy and I have a cracked phone, so I never really got around to fixing it and I didn't really care too much. The cracks got to a point that they were so annoying on my left thumb, I just decided to make a video on it, as well as I really, really wanted to customize it. Now we can take off the battery and the screen brackets, and it's just going to be some Y000 screws. And as always, the most important part is disconnecting the battery. Taking a look at the screen I got in the mail, it is an aftermarket but very high quality screen replacement. As always, if you guys are looking for any type of screen or parts or accessories, take a look down in the description below. While taking the phone apart, I did get a little bit injured. It's going to be censored because I don't want to get in trouble by YouTube. Now, once we have the entire screen assembly off of the housing of the phone, we're going to start up at the ear speaker module at the very top of the screen. There's only three screws, and this is what I love about the iPhone X models. If you're careful, they're incredibly easy to repair. There's no home button. There's none of that annoying stuff that's going to break instantly. The only thing we have to worry about, obviously, is the top speaker and face ID module. Here, as I'm pulling it back, you can see that I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. We're going to pry this thing out here pretty quickly. And again, if you are going to be doing this repair, please take your time. Do not rush it. You really, really, and let me stress that again, really do not want to damage that cable. Now I can take out my iCopy machine and plug in the old screen so I can read the data. And then I can connect the new screen and then write the data onto the new screen. What this does, what this does is, 
What this does is pretty simple. All I'm doing is transferring the serial number over to the new screen from the old screen. And what that allows me to do is get the true tone function out. If you skip transferring the serial number without one of these devices, you will lose true tone because it's paired to your phone. Now to one of the more satisfying parts of the repair is twirling my little spudger to take off all of the old adhesive on the sides. After that's done, I'm going to be using a Q-tip and some isopropyl alcohol to be scrubbing down the edges of the phone. As you can see, it gets pretty dirty. Now I'm going to be lining the edges with the new adhesive and pressing it down firmly. I, for some reason, after doing many phones, am not good at this step. I'm not too sure what it is, but this time it came out very, very well. I think what I did differently, in contrast to my other repairs, is I've, I applied heat as well as a lot of pressure around the edges, so I just knew it was going to be sticky enough and stay there. Now I can plug in the brand new screen. There's just a couple cables. And now we get to test it, so I can hold down the power button and pray that there's an Apple symbol. And there we go, the Apple symbol popped up. After tapping a little bit, I'm going to hold down the power button again and slide it over so we can power off this device and continue the repair. We're almost done, as all we need to do is put the bracket back on, make sure everything is tight and clean, Take off the sticker around the edge, take off the adhesive sticker, and finish up the repair. Now being careful, I can seat the brand new screen back down on the phone. After getting the top in, I can gently press around the edges, making sure I'm crunching it all the way down. And there we go. Now for the most satisfying part, taking off the plastic protector. Yeah, I like that. And just like that, we are done with the screen repair. And now for the customization. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.